turn whenever you're all ready. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the third session of the Sea Services Leadership Association's Joint Women's Leadership Virtual Series. Um, we have a very exciting day today, and I'm uh, looking forward to serving as your uh, moderator. So first, as always, we would like to thank our sponsors, uh, Johnson & Johnson, USAA, and Amazon, who is going to be a special feature today. So as always, our disclaimer that the views and opinions expressed in this webinar are not endorsed by and do not represent the views of the Sea Services Leadership Association, the Department of Defense, Department of Homeland Security, or any other federal entities. So my name is Lieutenant Corinne Powers with the United States Coast Guard. I currently serve as the Vice President of the Board of Directors for the Sea Services Leadership Association. I am also grateful to get to serve as the co-chair of the virtual series that you are currently viewing, as well as the 2021 Joint Women's Leadership Symposium co-chair. Um, so today is a very exciting day. Um, obviously, as we've talked about, we have some really great sponsors. Um, and one of the things that we also get to do with our sponsors is demonstrate how they serve our military community as well as our veteran community. And Amazon has been a longtime sponsor of ours and has some really great features that we're going to get to talk about today. Um, and as an organization, SSLA not only focuses on you in your military career, we want to help you pursue whatever those adventures are if you decide that a lifelong military career is not what you want. So one of the features that we offer at the Joint Women's Leadership Symposium every year is the third day of the conference is actually a career and transitioning seminar where we bring in various sponsors um, to give you the opportunity to start considering what those other options are for you. And so today we are going to take the time to uh, talk a little bit about one of those great organizations. So today is going to be an amazing session featuring Amazon's worldwide operations team who are going to discuss the various leadership ro roles available within Amazon. Their team of recruiters are here with us today to share what they look like when they are hiring vets and why Amazon values them and supports their development as well as the family life. Later, you're gonna get the chance to hear from three female veterans who have successfully transitioned out of the military and who now work for the Worldwide Operation Leadership Team who are gonna share their Amazon stories and how they successfully transitioned into these really exciting careers. So I'd like to introduce Jen Harrison Doss, who is a veteran sourcing recruiter at Amazon, as well as a military spouse. So Jen, welcome to you and your team, and I'll hand it over to you. Well, thank you so much, Corinne. Um, hello, everyone. I'm uh, Jen Harrison Doss, and I'm the military recruiting manager for Worldwide Operations here at Amazon. Um, I'm thrilled to be with you guys today um, to talk about um, leadership careers um, in operations at Amazon. Um, it's an honor to be a part of the Joint Women's Leadership Symposium. Uh, we would have loved to have been in person with you guys this year, uh, but for obvious reasons, uh, we've had to, to pivot and, and do some virtual engagement. Um, a little bit about me, I am an active duty military spouse. Um, I live here in the National Capital Region. Um, I pcs here with my family um, from Abilene, Texas, where my husband uh, was at Dias Air Force Base for a few years. Um, I have been with Amazon for eight and a half years, uh, three years working at our Seattle headquarters, um, and then the past uh, five and a half years, I've had the pleasure to work virtually uh, to support my husband's military career and follow him around. Um, I've held five different roles at Amazon in these eight and a half years, uh, working in HR recruiting and also program management. Um, I specifically have been leading this team, uh, the Worldwide Operations Military Recruiting Team, for the past 11 months. And it's been a true joy um, helping bring my military community and my Amazon community in a really, uh, together in a really formal way. Um, so, uh, enough about me. Uh, today's webinar is all about uh, worldwide operations leadership roles, uh, which we believe are great opportunities for transitioning veterans to build meaningful careers at Amazon. Uh, these are quick progressing careers as well due to the um, growth of our worldwide operations network and frankly, really high customer demand. Uh, today, you're going to hear from two recruiters on my team, um, Mari Galuska and Michelle Mills. Uh, both are also active duty military spouses. Uh, Michelle is a fellow uh, Air Force spouse, um, and Mari is an Army spouse. Um, Michelle is currently in Las Vegas, um, and Mari is in Fayetteville, North Carolina. 
You'll also hear um, from three panelists, um, if you can go to the next slide. Um, these are our female veterans who are working in operations leadership roles here at Amazon. Um, they're gonna tell you about their military careers, um, how they came to join Amazon, um, as well as um, open Q&A um, at the end of our presentation here. Uh, so if we go to the next slide, um, this, uh, a lot of people ask me, Jen, you know, so why is it that Amazon loves veterans so much? Um, and, and what is it about, about them that Amazon is so passionate about? Well, I think our, our CEO and founder, Jeff Bezos, says it best. Um, we actively seek leaders who can invent, think big, have a bias for action, and deliver results on behalf of our customers. Um, these principles look very familiar to the men and women who have served our country in the armed forces, and we find that their experience leading people is invaluable in our fast-paced work environment. Um, he is the richest man in the world um, and a, a true genius who has helped build Amazon into a formidable company. Um, and so for him to speak that profoundly um, about uh, why Amazon values veterans, I think is really impactful. Uh, if we go to the next slide. Um, this slide gives you uh, just a couple of photos and snapshots of the worldwide operations team um, that encompasses Amazon Air, um, it encompasses our uh, fulfillment and distribution centers. So generally, worldwide operations refers to the large network of Amazon fulfillment centers across the globe. Um, and these fulfillment centers are charged with fulfilling customer orders. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I think I have an Amazon package that comes to my house either from Fresh or Prime Now or, or Pantry or, or any of it, uh, probably at least once a day. Um, but these warehouses not only um, store products, but service distribution centers where our associates pick and pack and ship orders um, really quickly and efficiently to, to get to your door. Um, but they're not just a bunch of people picking and packing. They're actually um, really massive buildings that um, contain a lot of incredible technology. Um, we've got um, robots and scanning machines and computer systems um, that allow us to track these millions of items every day. And these sites are really complex. They require um, strong leaders to drive productivity, but also to support the safety of our associates and provide and promote um, development and engagement. Um, so at Amazon, we've actually been actively recruiting veterans through our formalized military recruiting program for over a decade. Um, we began really formally inv um, investing um, in this space in um, the early 2000s, and then especially our program grew um, um, after 9-11. Um, um, and the recession, um, as some of you may recall, um, the the veteran unemployment was very, very high at that time. Um, and so this is when Amazon really began to expand our veteran recruiting. Um, this also expanded in 2016 in partnership with the Obama-Biden administration um, in the Joining Forces Pledge, uh, where we committed to hiring over 25,000 veterans and spouses by 2021. Um, and I'm pleased to say that in just two years, we exceeded that hiring goal, and we're now at um, hiring over 41,000 veterans and spouses into Amazon since that original pledge. Um, and one of my previous roles was being the senior program manager leading military spouse um, employment initiatives at Amazon. Um, so those of you that, that have spouses that are also interested in Amazon, that's a really robust part of our programming as well. Um, and since operations has really led the way with veteran recruiting at Amazon, um, other teams have begun to see where veterans can help lift their business and provide great servant leadership to their employees. So out of the worldwide operations veteran recruiting initiatives, um, additional recruiting initiatives and teams have been created to support Amazon Web Services, our workforce staffing team, um, consumer and retail. This year, Devices, the team that makes um, the Kindle and the Fire TV stick and all of those great technological advances. Alexa, they create a veteran recruiting team. And we also have several international veteran recruiting teams um, right now serving India, Australia, 
France, Italy, Poland, Spain, Austria, the Czech Republic, and this year also um, building military recruiting initiatives in the Netherlands. Um, so we're really proud to be the group that helped formalize this for, for all of Amazon, and our team continues to lead the way with the highest number of veteran hires um, in salaried positions across Amazon. So now I'm going to hand it over to um, Mari, who um, will introduce herself, tell you a little bit about um, her work, um, and then also how our veteran recruiting team engages with veteran candidates. Thanks so much, Jen. Uh, let me see if I can get this to work. All right, so uh, my name is Mari Galuska. Um, I am the client lead recruiter for um, the West region on the military recruiting team. So, um, you know, I play a big role in the offers and onboarding for our transitioning military and veterans and things like that. Um, I've been with Amazon unofficially for about a year now. Um, I started as a contractor last August um, and officially joined in January and moved onto this team. And I'm so happy I did. Um, you know, this is one of my passions. So, as Jen mentioned, um, I'm an active duty military spouse. Uh, my husband is in the Army and he's a Green Beret. Um, we're currently located in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, for those of you who are familiar, <laughs> it's an interesting place. Um, I'm very happy to be moving to Tennessee very soon where I've got family. Um, you know, Nashville's around the corner, so pretty excited about that. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, our team today. So our team is very unique in that we only support veteran hiring. Um, and all the members of our team, um, our 15 person team are either military spouses or veterans, which I personally think is pretty cool because we, we all know your experience and how to help you navigate Amazon successfully. Uh, we're all very passionate about, you know, the work that we do because the work is so deeply personal to us. Um, and obviously due to COVID, you know, we're not able to um, visit military installations or attend those veteran career fairs in person since uh, February. Uh, but we have attended over 20 different virtual webinars to engage veteran talent, which is pretty awesome. Um, these webinars have been Amazon hosted um, and also in partnership with organizations like Hiring Our Heroes, Hire Heroes USA, um, the Military Officers Association of America, um, the Service Academy Career Conferences, um, Academy Women, and of course, JWLS. Um, our team is pretty skilled, specifically in working with transitioning veterans and helping to engage them early in their transitioning process at Amazon. Um, we host interview preparation webinars three times per week um, that are an hour in length. This time for an open Q&A. So, you know, if you end up going through the process in operations, um, you know, I host on Fridays, so hopefully I get to you know, interact with you soon. Um, we also send through a preparation guide ahead of the interview specifically geared to the needs of the veterans um, based on previous interview results and gaps, trying to understand, um, you know, civilian interview processes that are unique to this candidate pool. Um, additionally, we provide coaching and guidance to our interviewers who are not familiar with veteran candidates um, to help them better understand, you know, the veteran experience and resumes. And finally, our team works with Amazon's global military affairs team um, in executing the fellowship and internship programs such as hiring our heroes in SkillBridge. Uh, we're really committed to using all of the available resources to help hire veterans so that they can build um, meaningful civilian careers here at Amazon. So now I'll turn it over to Michelle Mills, who's also an active duty military spouse, and she'll go ahead um, and introduce herself and tell you about the specific leadership roles our team um, recruits for. Thank you, Mari. So my name is Michelle Mills. I am an active duty Air Force spouse. My husband is a colonel in the Air Force. He flies the A-10 by trade, but recently transitioned over to the F-35. We've been married the entire time, so I've had a really robust career following him around, know the unique challenges about being a military spouse and following an active duty person. And also I have seen a lot of our friends go through this transition, which is why I'm so passionate about the team I'm privileged to be a part of. So we're talking about these operation roles and our military recruiting team will hire over 600 salaried veteran leaders by the end of 2020 in three job titles, area manager, operations manager, and military pathways operation manager. 
You can see the overall leadership structure of the Fulfillment Center here. As you can see, the career progression from area manager to operations manager to senior operations manager to general manager slash site lead is very straightforward. One of the great things about Amazon is there's no time and role requirement to promote or transfer laterally, so you can truly drive your own career progression based on performance. And uh, treat to them, you know, they've so often spent time within their careers that have told them they have to spend X amount of years in each role before they're able to promote, and we don't have that. So you might be interested in knowing what is an area manager. Our area managers lead and develop a team of Amazon associates, anywhere from 50 to 100 direct reports at one time. Their main focus is motivating, mentoring, and coaching their team. Area managers are responsible for engaging their team during each shift to maintain the highest level of safety, quality, attendance, performance, and engagement. To achieve this, they are expected to provide their associates with the tools needed for success, as well as keenly drive productivity and efficiency through data-driven decision and analytic, analytical problem solving. It's a great way to get in with wonderful leadership skills to start your career in Amazon. Once you've mastered that, the next step we'd be looking at taking it to is our operations manager. The operations manager has completely completed responsibility for inbound operations, outbound operations, or functional process responsibility within the fulfillment center on a specific shift or across multiple shifts. They are what we call our leaders of leaders. So they're not only supervising, you know, large hourly people, uh, associates, they also have a direct supervision responsibility of anywhere from two to five area managers, depending on the location. And so those teams that they're ultimately responsible for can be well over 400 hourly associates that will put, report up. Now, our military pathways operations manager is an elite leadership development program where high potential veterans with strong operations and leadership backgrounds, plus master's degree and STEM undergrad degrees, move through a series of intense, progressive, challenging roles. The purpose of this program is to stretch leadership skills to fast track to executive leadership with programmatic support to help participants be successful in that goal. Regular relocation is required for this program. It, you also have to be within one year of your service transition date. So it's uh, one of the great programs that we have to offer. Now we're going to go on to how once we've started. So once we've got you on board, you're an area manager, operation manager, we really are looking at developing you. So next slide, if we could. So we're not only interested in just recruiting you, at Amazon we're committed to developing you as well. In worldwide operations, we have a robust onboarding experience that lasts about two months. We don't just drop you into the building, we train you and we support you as you learn and ramp. Due to our high growth and the need to transfer experienced leaders to launching new fulfillment centers and delivery stations, we invest heavily in ongoing professional development within worldwide operations. We continually look ahead to promotion and transition for our leaders, helping them move from onboarding to proficiency and finally mastery within their role. Our operations talent development team has created programs with continuous learning and crucible experiences that prepare our leaders to grow to the next level of Amazon. I'm going to turn it back over to Mari to talk a little bit more about the other programs of how we support and develop our professionals. Sorry, guys, I'm a little slow here with the Zoom. <laughs> um, so we do have mentoring. So in addition to the formal operations development programs, um, Amazon also offers three formal mentoring platforms. So we work with two external organizations, Veterati, um, I'm actually a mentor through them, and American Corporate Partners to facilitate that mentoring. We also have an internal operations specific mentoring program called Lead On. Um, we also have an affinity group for veterans and it's called Warriors. So Amazon has 12 affinity groups, sometimes known as employee resource groups, which bring employees together across businesses and locations around the world. Um, and like I said, one of these groups is Warriors Affinity Group, which enables our members to do their best work for Amazon um, and enables Amazon to do great things for the military community. Um, this is really a wonderful way for new veterans and military spouse Amazonians to really make connections with those um, with similar experiences you know, and find those immediate um, support systems as they transition to Amazon's culture. Um, we actually have over 100 warriors at Amazon um, chapters across the fulfillment centers and sites worldwide. And I'll turn it uh, back over to Jen to talk about benefits. Thanks so much, Mari. Um, quick plug, our 100th chapter um, at for Warriors At is our all military spouse chapter, uh, which started in the US on Veterans Day last November and has, um, as of this year, also created um, 
satellite chapters in Italy and in the UK for spouses, uh, also Germany um, abroad. So super proud of that program. Um, so one of the really great things about Amazon is our um, wonderful uh, uh, parental leave program. Um, we offer um, birth mothers um, up to 14 weeks of paid maternity leave, um, plus an additional six for those who have been at the company for over a year. So altogether, that's 20 weeks or five months of fully paid um, leave that, that moms can take. Um, in 2017, we actually added dads and adoptive parents and non-birth mothers to this program. Um, and it's, it's a really wonderful program. Um, I, I was a little shocked when I had my son, and uh, my husband told me he got 10 full days of leave to help me welcome our new human to our household <laughs> compared to the five months that I got from Amazon. Um, we also have a really great um, adoption assistance benefit um, where eligible employees can be reimbursed for um, qualified adoption expenses. Um, and then we have a really cool parental leave policy um, that's called our leave share program, which also allows employees to share their parental leave with a partner who doesn't work at Amazon and whose employer does not um, pay parental leave. And then my favorite part of our parental leave suite of programs is the ramp back program. Um, this program allows new parents um, to ease back to work over an eight week flexible schedule with reduced hours. Um, I personally took advantage of this program when I had my son. Uh, it was a godsend because many of us know babies aren't sleeping through the night at four to five months old. And so I was able to ramp back over an eight week period um, and, and be back to my full self uh, right around the time when he started sleeping through the night. Um, and of course, you know, during these unprecedented times with COVID, um, our families at Amazon, another affinity group, has really stepped up big to help support um, families across the fulfillment center and corporate roles. Um, they've helped to bubble up um, the needs of working Amazonians with families um, and secured some added emergency child care benefits um, during this time as, as a result of their advocacy work. Um, so really wonderful opportunities here uh, to, to develop you, train you, uh, support you, and also support your family. So now I'm actually going to turn it over to our, our three panelists who are going to talk about their particular um, Amazon stories. Um, and I'm, I'm thrilled to start off um, with Stephanie Peterson. So Stephanie, I will turn my video off and hand it over to you. Okay, thank you, Jen. So um, I'm happy to share my story. Um, I am a military vet. I was in the Air Force. Um, I actually got my start at the Air Force Academy. Um, and I did, um, my husband and I met there. So we've been married, now we've been married 18 years. Um, he's a Lieutenant Colonel, I was a Lieutenant Colonel. And as we got senior in rank, it became more difficult for us to get assignments together. And he got an amazing opportunity to fly Air Force Two, which is the Vice President, First Lady, Secretary of State. Um, and that was in DC. And then I got command um, of the Intel School in Texas. And so I spent two years in command there. And then I got um, promoted to Colonel and I realized that we were not gonna be stationed together anymore. And at that point with deployments and CDYs and assignments away from each other, um, we had spent nine years apart. So I had looked at um, trying to transition to something that would allow uh, better family life stability. And when I went out there to look, I was really disappointed with the amount of people who didn't honor my military service. And then I found uh, Amazon. So Amazon was actively recruiting uh, military leaders. They seemed to really value the leadership that I had. And even though I was an intelligence officer in the military, um, Amazon just saw me as a leader and saw me as a potentially big leader. So they brought me in. Um, I was grateful I applied for the military pathways program but because of my situation where I'm not able to move they just brought me in as an operations manager so um, using my experience they brought me in to lead a very large team and that was um, almost three years ago in September so I got my start in uh, Baltimore um, I actually live in DC my husband's stationed at Andrews and so I commuted up to Baltimore for two years um, at, to a station called BWI2 which is the second largest fulfillment center for orders. So just really large volumes and very large teams. And um, they put me in and they gave me great training and they just, um, I appreciated Amazon because they respected military service and I was able to launch the military affinity group 
at that site and just found a lot of people with military in their background, whether they served for, you know, just a couple of years or they did, they were lifelong military like myself. Um, it was great to see the amount of people who wanted to continue to serve. And so even though I didn't know how to necessarily run Amazon operations, what they really um, was able to use and what I really loved was that I was able to use all my leadership experience in the military. So that's really what I wanted um, to do and um, be able to capitalize on that. I didn't want to necessarily transition into starting over in a new career. So I felt like coming into Amazon where they respected my background and that I was able to um, sort of start at a level, but they gave me the training that they were able to, um, to help me grow into this job. And so I was at Baltimore for two years and then I transitioned into Whole Foods. So if you guys don't know, Amazon does have some Whole Foods options. And um, I ran that for a couple of times or for a couple of months, excuse me. And right now I'm, uh, I launched a new building in March. Um, it's sub same day. So if you're in a large metropolitan area like DC and all of a sudden you can now get your Amazon packages. If you order by 8 a.m. and you get them by 1 p.m., that's coming out of my building right now. So it's very fast paced. Um, but at the end and the core of all of it is being a leader and working with people wherever they are. Um, the last thing I want to say that I love about Amazon as a company is the way that they uh, hire people from all backgrounds and all in all types. And that's something that I really enjoy. Like in my last site, I had someone with uh, Tourette's syndrome who couldn't hold a job someplace else because of his outburst, but was able to work and be a very productive member of our team. And so I appreciate that Amazon is um, really truly a leader when it comes to embracing people, including military, um, military spouses, whatever it is, to, to bring them in and to use their talents and to make them feel like they're part of something that's worthwhile. So I look forward to your guys' questions. I, um, and I am happy to answer any of those. Thank you so much for joining us, Stephanie. I know how busy you are right now in this, this crazy time. And as somebody who receives packages from in the DC area every single day, I thank you. <laughs> Uh, so now I'm going to turn it over to Erica, uh, who works in one of our fulfillment centers in Houston. Erica, you can turn your video on and please share your story with us. Uh, I think you're on mute, Erica. Oh, I am so sorry. You guys can't hear me. I'm coming from inside the fulfillment center right now in Houston, so I'm excited to be here. I hope everybody can hear me. Um, I want to share my experience. I'm so happy to do this. This is one of the best parts of my job, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So a little bit of my background, I'm originally from Columbia, South Carolina. I joined the military, the great Navy. I joined the Navy at 20 years old. When I left the Navy, when I joined the Navy um, in South Carolina, I never knew what the world would have for me. I didn't know at the time. All I knew was that I had a sick mother and she needed me. And so at that time, I left college, and that's what I did. Upon joining the military, I've been all over the world. My last duty station was in Afghanistan. I worked off the USS called Vincent, and then I got attached to an EOD unit going to Afghanistan to service um, with the main function of mobile IEDs. And so that's what I worked on when I was in Afghanistan for a very long time. I left there, and just like the other panelists, I went back contracting. I did seven years in Afghanistan working at a building as big as the one I'm in in HOU2. Um, and it's in that facility that I got my love for logistics. I worked there for about seven years in Afghanistan. Can you believe it? For seven years, I worked over there, and then I went to Jordan, and I worked there also. But I just wanted to come back home, you guys. I wanted to come home, and I, I couldn't find a place to come home that owned my skills and wouldn't force me to start all the way back over. I had put so much time in, so much work in. And so that's when I start to apply for Amazon. What's great about the story that you gave, uh, ma'am, is that I was pregnant when I got hired for Amazon. I was five months pregnant and I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified. I was prior military. I was used to working as a contractor and now I was pregnant. And I needed to come home to provide for my family at the same pace I was providing at when I was overseas. Well, Amazon opened the doors for me and gave me an opportunity that I believe no other place 
in the world would do. Um, they took me on as if I had been working at Amazon forever. And so I know firsthand the experience and the benefits of working at Amazon and being a pregnant woman. I was pregnant and they gave me everything that I needed, all the support that I needed. At five months, of course, I hadn't been working at Amazon a year, um, just like you heard with the benefits. So Amazon, what they did was I got, um, I got two months before, a month before I gave birth, and then I got three months after I gave birth with the option to ramp up, and all of that was paid. That was absolutely amazing, not working at a company a year yet and getting paid maternity leave. So that was a breath of fresh air for me. Um, unlike the other panelists, I'm a single mother, and as a single mother and a veteran, I was very terrified. I left got my bachelor's and my master's before I came to Amazon and got hired as an area manager. When I came here, I didn't know what to expect, but what I got in return was a family. I got understanding. I got compassion. I got energy. And if you're in the military, you know, we live off that energy and I'm a high energy person. So when I came here, everything was, it was peak time and it was time to go. And I was excited. Nobody uh, looked at me differently because I was pregnant. Matter of fact, they gave me more respect because I never quit. I kept pushing. And I, maybe that's a courtesy to being in the military, but I can tell anybody that's listening to this, um, from my experiences once I got here to HIE2, is that your background, your background being in the military will help you. It will help anybody. It helped me. My mental toughness, my discipline, it helped me get through every tough time that we had in this SC, especially during peak and prime. Um, I just was excited. Everybody, I work with a lot of military people at HOU2. We have a huge military family here, and everybody is so accepting. I didn't have to start over. Um, yes, I had degrees, and that helped me, but even without degrees, I believe that Amazon would have still hired me as an area manager. It is an amazing role. If you come from where we come from, I'm used to dealing with anywhere from 80 to 150 sailors at any time. And then in Afghanistan, dealing with over... 200 associates from all backgrounds, different languages, um, different situations and circumstances. What does that sound like? That sounds just like Amazon, just like the SC. We walk in here and we deal with people from all kinds of backgrounds, all kinds of nationalities, language barriers. Some are deaf. Um, some don't, can't see really well. But the military has enabled me to be able to adjust in my role just fine. And Amazon has helped that transition. I believe that any person um, coming from the background, and it doesn't matter what branch, Air Force, Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, coming from that disciplinary background that we come from, that structure, coming into Amazon, we only add to the business. And so my transition into Amazon was fairly easy because I'm a people person. I love dealing with people. I love developing my associates. I love my job. And I hope that if I don't do anything, I get that message across. I love what I do. And it is the only job that I have found in the United States of America that has allowed me to take every skill that I've had in the military and use it whether it's time management, whether it's developing personnel, whether it's um, uh, being able to speak in front of crowds. Um, these things are, uh, I've been doing for years. And to come into a, a facility that you don't have to have a time frame on you to be able to advance. You just have to be in the right opportunity and work hard. These are things in the military we killed for. I know in the Air Force alone, they have to wait a long time to get promoted sometimes, and they have to wait and wait for it. Here in Amazon, even in the Navy, we have to wait a while. Here in the Amazon, it's based on our performance, and we can get there pretty quickly. I love that part. Um, just coming from the grassroots that I've come, I come from, um, I've made my mom very proud, and being able to provide for my family, the salary was very competitive. Um, the benefits were awesome absolutely amazing and for me that has been the biggest thing for me i love my job i love it and i can't tell you guys how much i love it and being from the military i get a lot of associates come to me all the time because i wear a pen that says that i am a veteran i'm very proud of being a veteran but i've never been more proud to be a veteran until everything that has happened in our country recently and how Amazon has taken on the appreciation for our service members, what they are doing, the people that are on the front line. Uh, Amazon really, really takes a, 
uh, attention to making us feel important. It has given me the opportunity to develop my skills as a leader. Um, there are some barriers that I've had, and I want to make sure I give that side too, because coming from the military, I think one of my biggest transitions was coming from the structure of the military being so rah, rah, rah all the time to having to soft it down a little bit and make sure that I am um, embodying all the Amazon principles as I am leading, because in the military, sometimes it's just cutthroat. Um, so for me, that has been my biggest barrier, but I have gotten through that. I am a mentor. I actively mentor five people right now. I also have a mentor for my own self, but a lot of the people that come to me are veterans and they are looking for the truth. They're looking for a mentor that is going to help them through their barriers, and I'm pretty sure we have the same. So for Erica, my experience has been amazing. My barrier, my my pro, my cons do not outweigh my pros. My pros definitely outweigh my cons. I would recommend this job to any veteran, and I am so encouraged for female veterans to do this because just like me, you're looking for that, and so I hope that my story um, encourages any uh, veteran to please come into it. It is amazing. It is competitive, and I appreciate the opportunity to share my story. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Erica. I love hearing uh, your story. And you are also in the Fulfillment Center today. I know super busy. Uh, so thank you for, for making the time. Our final uh, panelist is Elizabeth. Um, and she will share our story uh, or her story. Um, and then from there, we'll spend time um, with the open Q&A. You can address questions to our, our panelists. We'll all turn on our video at that time. And then I see several coming through on the chat that we'll also answer. So Elizabeth, we'd love to hear from you. And, and thank you again, Erica and Stephanie. Hey, firstly, I would love to say that I am so in awe of both Stephanie and Erica's stories. Uh, they are the type of women that inspire me every day at Amazon. So thank you so much for sharing your stories. Um, hi, everybody. Um, uh, my name is Captain Elizabeth Brunette. I'm a US Army uh, reservist currently and also an operations manager in the Amazon Pathways program that was mentioned earlier. Um, I was most recently the site leader of an Amazon Fulfillment Center in Richmond, Virginia, and I am actually currently the senior operations manager for operations talent development for Amazon Air. I am also a veteran, a reservist, a military spouse, and I am from a military family. My dad served, my two older brothers served, so I'm continuing the legacy. Um, a little bit about me and my story. Um, I can tell from that photo, I graduated from West Point in uh, 2012. I commissioned as a military intelligence officer, uh, deployed immediately to Afghanistan uh, after graduation. I loved my time on active duty as an intel officer. I did um, all source intelligence when I was overseas doing the intelligence preparation of the battlefield, IPP for those who know uh, what that is. Um, for our retrograde operations from uh, Fox and Cops across RCEs, which is uh, Eastern Afghanistan. So I spent a few years in Italy um, with the 173rd Airborne Brigade, where I was an intel officer at multiple echelons supporting intelligence operations for our forward deployed soldiers across um, the Baltics at that time, 2014 2016 timeframe. Um, I was also a drum master. So my job was to support the paratroopers as they exited aircraft by um, making sure that they were safe inside the aircraft uh, as they exited. So fantastic time, great experience, love leading soldiers, love paratroopers. Um, from there, I attended the Maneuver Captain's Group course at Fort Benning, Georgia. Um, for people who know what that is, that's the schoolhouse for infantry and armor captains, um, which until 2016 were actually two career paths only for men. Um, in 2016, they opened it up for women. So that was a really cool opportunity to see um, maneuver doctrine and work and learn maneuver doctrine up close. Um, from there, I uh, transferred uh, from active duty to the reserves um, in order to align my career paths with my husband, who at that time was uh, an army ranger, um, also a paratrooper, who was going to medical school. So for us, it just made sense to kind of align career paths a little bit more. And uh, he's currently uh, in medical school. So uh, Amazon was really helpful for enabling me to find a career path that really worked and to find a location that enabled me to make that transition from active duty service to the reserves to the civilian sector um, and be able to live with my husband, which is a really big deal. Um, so for me, I often get asked the question, what does 
Pathways. Um, and it was kind of covered before, but the Pathways program is a leadership development program for Amazon Worldwide operations all across North America, and it has a presence abroad as well. Um, the idea is to um, take high-performing leaders from the military, like yourselves, and um, develop uh, them into high-performing leaders at Amazon from uh, you know, the next generation of general managers, directors, VPs. Um, I would be more than happy to talk about what that looks like during the Q&A session later. Um, so that kind of brings me to Amazon. So I joined uh, Amazon at RIC3 in Petersburg, Virginia as an area manager, where I too was leading uh, 80 to 100 associates um, in my department. And within six months, I promoted to operations manager, where I was leading twice as many, if not three times as many people um, for my, my department and my operation. Um, from there, I actually launched a building in Amazon, which Amazon. is a great experience to build a building from the ground. And I was an operations manager. But, um, while at that site, I, actually, I promoted and took over the building. So I was a site leader, um, actually up until last week. Uh, of my site. So I kind of felt like the cross between a town mayor and a company commander, battalion commander. Um, and I will say without a doubt, the military prepared me to be able to lead um, leaders at different levels and bring together a cohesive team. So without a doubt, it's successful because of my military time. Um, this week, I transferred into my new role in the Pathways program in a new a company line, a new business line, um, Amazon Air. Uh, directly supporting another amazing female veteran, Sarah Rhodes, whose picture was actually uh, pictured on an earlier slide. If you don't know who she is, Google her. She's very cool. Um, so I'm very excited to venture out into this new field as uh, an operations manager, someone who absolutely loves cultivating talent and ensuring that all customers at Amazon have that really good customer experience. Um, in conclusion, I have had a very positive experience with Amazon. Um, Amazon really empathized me, all my leaders did, with my military transition, which is a really tough time um, going from active duty to the reserves or any other major career transition. Um, uh, I believe my background's really enabled me to be successful. Um, I try to pay it forward as much as I can. Like the other ladies, I'm also a member of the Warriors at Amazon Affinity Groups, and I also mentor a lot of great female leaders at Amazon through multiple platforms like Women in Operations. There's a great program called the Women's Leadership Program. Um, so Amazon cares a lot about mentorship and uh, leader development, much like the seminar. And uh, so um, I, I absolutely love working with veterans, and um, I really uh, look forward to answering any questions you might have about my experiences or uh, bridging the transition. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. We can um, all turn our videos back on and hopefully the, the Wi-Fi gods will allow us to all be on the network right now. Um, and we will do um, some open Q&A. Um, so I will help moderate the Q&A um, and then uh, shift uh, questions to certain folks and then you're welcome to hop in if you'd like to elaborate or share your perspective and then we'll, we'll wrap up with a few minutes to go so Corinne can um, talk about what's next for, for JLS. Um, one question that came in here from our Facebook Live attendees, um, and so this, this um, Erica, Stephanie, or Elizabeth, you feel free to, to weigh in here if you have any perspective, but um, is Amazon understanding and flexible with veterans that may have um, reoccurring medical appointments to deal with medical issues from their service? Um, so off, offhand, yes, I'm an HR professional, absolutely. Um, but Erica or Stephanie or Elizabeth, do you wanna give a little insight specifically into how that works? in the Fulfillment Center environment? Sure, I can say from being a site leader and being responsible for a building of managers and associates, um, I have had many veterans that have worked in my building who do have um, certain medical needs that they need to have um, you know, taken care of. Um, and that's absolutely something that Amazon cares about, that Amazon prioritizes. Amazon always puts safety first. So your personal health and well-being is always a priority and that Amazon will work with you to make sure that if you have any special accommodations, those accommodations are met. I can honestly say from an area manager perspective, um, I am 70% disabled, 60% disabled. 
maybe it's up now, but we go with the last one, 60% disabled. I have never had a problem getting to any appointment that I need. I've never had an issue um, if I had to go somewhere. My ops, my ops, operations manager, my site lead, they've never had an issue with that, even in a facility as big as ours. So um, that's not an issue at all. Great, thank you. I wanted to just say, like in the fulfillment center, generally it's a, a four-day, ten-hour work shift. So it does give you a three-day option to make those appointments. And then, um, at least at my last site, we had an RTN shift, which was um, twelve-hour shift. So you work three days for twelve hours, and so that gives you a lot more flexibility. It's certainly um, flexible for people like Elizabeth to do reserve work and do reserve. Yeah, we love our reservists and guard, uh, National Guardsmen at Amazon as well. Uh, Michelle, I'm going to flip this question over to you. Um, this is another question from Facebook. Does Amazon support the DOD SkillBridge program uh, for transitioning veterans? We do. We actually have a couple different ways that we support that. So we are partnered with Hiring Our Heroes. We do regular cohorts roughly three times a year in conjunction with that. It's not only in operations, but there's other avenues in Amazon. And we're really excited. We're actually halfway through our very first Amazon skill bridge for operations. We've got our first cohort going on right now. We've got candidates that are taking place or doing the experience in California, New Jersey, and Baltimore. So we are absolutely excited and our program is going to continue to grow into next year. Yes, I will add that we're on tap to do um, over a thousand salaried hires for operations next year. And we are very excited to have um, the HOH program and also our, our own managed skill bridge program um, help us get great talent into Amazon um, through, through the skill bridge program. Um, another question here that, that I'm happy to answer um, is- I our wanted to add- Oh yes, Erica. One, uh, I wanted to also add for those that are listening, I know that Ms. Elizabeth and Ms. Michelle, these, these ladies are, are officers. I'm enlisted, so I want people to know that you don't have to be an officer, you don't have to have a degree, I'm enlisted. So I, I'm straight from the grassroots, and these ladies are officers, and I love that, thank you. I just want everybody to know that enlisted is here too, so don't think that it's not for you guys also, like you gotta be an officer, it doesn't have to be an officer, so enlisted is also for us. Yeah, thank you, Erica. We we have um, actually pretty close to 50-50 split so far this year with the the, uh, the hiring that we've done for both area manager and ops manager. Um, and, and so you're right, we, we love all walks of life. Um, and especially also in military pathways, a lot of people think that's an officer only program, but we've got some really strong senior NCOs who have joined our program over the last couple of years who are also doing wonderful. So thank you for, for bringing that up, Erica, really wonderful. Um, one of the questions here um, that I'm happy to, to elaborate on and then I'll, I'll kick it to our panelists to add some additional information um, about um, their own interview processes and how they prepared to interview with Amazon. But what are some things military job applicants might unintentionally do to sabotage their um, chances of being hired? Well, one of the things that my team is specifically designed to do is understand the military needs um, and help prep them so that they're more successful in the interview process. So we do three times per week um, interview prep sessions um, and we also send an interview prep guide to our veteran candidates that's specifically designed to some of the things that we find over time that, that they may struggle with. So just to give you an example uh, and again my husband is a first sergeant so he this is him all the way. Uh, he says we all the time um, and so when you're in an interview and you keep saying we the collective military we, um, our interviewers struggle to understand, gosh, well, what part of we did Michael do? Um, and so that's one of the specific things that we cover with, with our candidates. Um, you know, tell me about what your contributions were. We want to hear about you. Um, so we have a, a whole curated um, set of tips that we provide for our veteran candidates to help them more successfully navigate the interview process. But um, Elizabeth and, and Erica and Stephanie, any top tips that you can recall from your interview process that, that you want to share with our veterans here? Yeah, I would love to share. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the Amazon hiring process, Amazon asks behavioral based questions. So those are questions that are rooted in past situations or challenges that you've experienced and how you've handled them using 
Amazon's leadership principles to guide the discussion. So Amazon will never ask you like brain teaser type questions like how many windows are in Manhattan? Like that's not a question that's gonna show who you are as a leader. So I would really say to succeed at an Amazon pod, um, look up behavioral based questions and look up the Amazon leadership principles because that is the bread and butter of how we talk at Amazon. We talk about the Amazon leadership principles and that will really help you succeed. For myself, um, I, I have a lot of people that's been interviewing lately because they've been hiring a lot internally. So I tell my associates the same thing I would tell any one of my other veterans. Three simple ways. What did you do? How did you do it? And what was the impact that you had for doing it? And if you can remember those three things, you can get through any answer, any question. What did you do? Because it's always the we, like the collective we. So we're designed to be a team. And so when to go in an interview and they tell us not to be a team, not really, and tell us what to focus on what we do, that's hard sometimes. I know for me it was hard because I'm really a team player. So I just tell them, what did you do? How did you do it? And what was the impact of what you did? And if you can remember those three, I think you'll get the rest of that star format really down pat. Because sometimes for the military, we, gotta, we have to make it very simple, simple for them. So that's what I tell my friends. I'll just tie those two things together. What Elizabeth and Erica shared is look at the leadership principles, come up with a story for each one of those and say like, oh, when did I show that I was customer obsessed? Or when did I show that I had a bias for action? And have those stories in your mind and be able to say what you, you contributed to that. And that, that will set you up for success. Great. Um, and I think we have time for, for one or two last questions. There's another one that came in from Facebook. Do you, um, you know, what positions do you have for veterans outside of operations? Obviously, we are the operations military recruiting team. So we, we think operations is the best. Um, but of course, there are lots of other places for, for veterans at Amazon. They're in every single org. Um, uh, but we have formalized recruiting initiatives in um, consumer and retail, um, in devices, in Amazon Web Services, um, but you're welcome to also connect with myself or Michelle or Mari on LinkedIn. And if you're interested in a different type of role at Amazon, we'd be happy to be your welcome mat and connect you to other recruiters um, within Amazon. Um, and I see Erica shaking her head as well. Um, and so we're, we're happy to connect you to that. But we are proud to be the group that hires the most salaried veterans into Amazon. Um, but, but through our great work, other teams are saying, wow, how do I get some of that veteran magic on my team? And so the opportunities are continuing to grow across all of Amazon. Um, so even if you, you look on the jobs page and you don't see any veteran specific language, absolutely you can apply. We hire veterans everywhere, every time, every position. I think that's one of the great things about a company company as complex and large as Amazon, there's likely a great role for you somewhere in here. Um, and I think final question, uh, we, we get a lot of questions about telework at Amazon. So right now, due to COVID, most of our corporate roles are um, virtual at this time. Um, at some point, of course, that's that's going to end, hopefully. And so um, there will be certain roles that are going to have to go back into our various offices. Uh, but one, see, one thing that we are seeing is that um, COVID has certainly challenged assumptions about work from home capabilities. Uh, as a military spouse, knowing how much virtual work is helpful for spouses to, to follow their partners around, I'm, I'm really hoping to see a lot of flexibility come through here. I will say that my replacement in the um, military spouse employment program manager role is a gal named Beth Conlin. Um, and Beth is an active duty army spouse working virtually from Georgia. Um, if you are looking for virtual opportunities and you're a military spouse, you can connect to me and I'm happy to connect you to Beth. Um, we also have a specific virtual location search function on our amazon.jobs page that allows you to look for jobs specifically that allow for virtual work and flexibility there. So I think we're, we're right at time, uh, Corinne. So I think I'll, I'll hand it back over to you, but thank you so much to our panelists and our recruiters. Um, and again, connect with any of us on LinkedIn. We're happy to answer further questions. Quick plug, we have open roles right now. Uh, if you're transitioning in 2021, we'll have our open roles for the entire year um, in late October. 
Awesome, ladies. Well, thank you, Jen, Mari, Michelle, Elizabeth, Erica, and Stephanie for participating in this today. Um, I certainly learned a lot about Amazon that I didn't know, and I'm, I'm super excited uh, to be a partner with you guys and, and helping our men and women uh, transition to their careers after their service time. So thank you guys for taking the time to do this today. So now, um, focusing on the, the forwarding of the series, uh, join us next week on Tuesday, September 8th uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time. Uh, we'll be featuring Breaking the Glass Ceiling, um, a series of female firsts. Um, so obviously, one of the things that we are, are proud about are our, our legendary women across the services who have continued to set the example and, and break the barriers for over 100 years. So we have five very, very esteemed and exciting panelists that will be speaking to you next week. We'll be posting more information on our social media sites as always. Um, and we look forward to you joining us there. As always, uh, please join us on our social media sites. We are on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, we will also be uh, doing a blog posting for each one of our seminar sections um, to put uh, links and follow up questions that maybe we didn't get a chance to answer during the live session. Um, and obviously for our Amazon session, we'll make sure that all of these links and information that they have graciously passed are available for your continued viewing. As always, we are plugging for the Joint Women's Leadership Symposium in 2021. Um, we are, a, are planning for Norfolk, Virginia at the Norfolk Waterside Marriott and more information will be coming towards the end of the year. And thank you again for taking the time to join us today. Thank you to Amazon for being a phenomenal sponsor of the Sea Services Leadership Association and our continuing serving veterans and reservists um, as they continue their career path. And we thank you guys for your dedication to continue to help us fulfill our vision of empowering a network of strong and inspirational women leaders who serve. So thank you for your time today. Stay safe and spread kindness.